eat a diet that augments nitric oxide, keep your blood pressure low, keep your stress under control, don't drink alcohol, uh, caffeine, okay, drink yeah. alcohol moderation, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, figure out if you are a high or low metabolizers of caffeine, and if you are high, 400 or more is just fine, just kidding, <laughs> check with your doctor. Did I miss anything? No, that's an excellent review, and it's the the basis of you know test don't guess. Like everybody's has their own individual you know story, their individual genetics, and then they go out in the world and do the things they need to do. But some people are at higher risk of Asher's disease than others. If you do the right testing, you figure out who those people are and which levers you can pull back on to reduce that risk. If you could pick three tests, you covered the blood test. The blood tests that we talked about were LP little a, ApoB, LDL cholesterol. HSCRP. Yes. And then also you talked about myeloperoxidase. I will say that in our clinic, almost every woman seems to have higher levels of myeloperoxidase. Is there a reason? It's associated with autoimmune conditions and women are at higher risk for autoimmune conditions. Mm -hmm. um, high myeloperoxidase can be a marker of HDL dysfunction. So just having a high HDL doesn't mean that it's necessarily doing anything beneficial to your vascular system. You know, one of the roles of HDL is to go into the arteries, pull out the cholesterol, and take it back to uh, recycle it. But if you have high myeloperoxidase, it keeps damaging the HDL, and the liver has to keep replacing it. So your HDL numbers are going up in your blood, but they're not actually working.